So you can demand $30 an hour, or if you were smart, you'd be saying, listen, we'll take the pay rate that we're at here. We want a certain increase to cover inflation, right? Or to cover whatever, but we want a 20 year guarantee or a 25 year guarantee that our job's gonna be here because all you're doing, you're sitting here, you're fighting for today, but you're gonna lose tomorrow. Two days workers came together and asked their co-workers where they want the 10 million dollars in profit we produced to go well what the co-workers want is clear and it's a 30 dollar our starting pay right equipment that is safe and actually works child care for the most important people of our lives professional translators our union has been consistently raising demands for the things that our co-workers need we are the we have only been met with hostility from management and management is threatening us because we fight for the rights of our co-workers and we aren't going to back down okay you keep harassing us by challenging us literally every 30 to 45 minutes and that's not normal okay you tried scaring us threatening us even saying that we could face termination for legally protected union activity you want us isolated so you can harass us each individually so we don't feel protected. You so gave us arbitrary you? excuses, like the supposed safety issues that only apply to, uh, to us, but not you yourselves. So how dare you, how dare you push that onto us? We don't deserve this, this ends now. You're the, you're the ones that have always been wrong because you've allowed us to suffer. <laughs> I used to have Amazon as a client years ago. So we staffed for them. $30 an hour is way too much for someone who's been there a year. They can take that and say, we'll charge customers more. That's fine. But customers, like anything else, there's a, there's a breaking point in terms of how much you can charge customers. Going back to my years of manufacturing, I've seen probably a dozen or so companies that I've been associated with in manufacturing. Automation takes over mm -hmm. and it's going to continue to take over. So all of these jobs in the next 10 years will pretty much be gone anyways. So you can demand $30 an hour, or if you were smart, you'd be saying, listen, we'll take the pay rate that we're at here. We want a certain increase to cover inflation, right? Or to cover whatever, but we want a 20 year guarantee or a 25 year guarantee that our job's gonna be here because all you're doing, you're sitting here, you're fighting for today but you're gonna to lose tomorrow. You get $30 to start as a starting wage. Everybody's like, great, I'm living, but I can promise you this, five, 10 years, all those jobs are gonna be gone, all of them. And they'll all be robotic, automated, and it's gonna be faster and more efficient. It's gonna cost much less. Now, the initial investment for these companies is in, is in the hundreds of millions. Actually been a part of the transition where a line was a 30-man line to run and overnight, it was a nine-man crew. And since then, though some of those lines have gone down to two operators. Mm -hmm. It's become so automated and these guys, they're going to become, they're going to become obsolete. So this is why I don't understand about these unions. More money, great. For us to pay it, they're going to pay it. They're going to raise the prices, but customers, they have to still keep their customers and they still need efficiency. So they're going to say, well, let's do away with the human element of it, bring in the automation, the AI part of it, and you're all going to have a job. So why don't you stop fighting for a wage and start fighting for longevity? Because mm -hmm. most of these jobs are going to be gone. A human can never do what a robot can do. So you already seen even in hospitality in terms of janitorial, you, I, I could easily see this being like where all the entry level jobs are gone. And then what are you going to be fighting for? We're all going to be part of a universal income. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So these, these people are stupid and I think they're ignorant and, and uh, misled.